I love gaming. When the Spider-Man PS4 game came out, I wondered like, is that something I could recreate in real life? Then how can I do it as cool as possible? Unlike the video game Spider-Man, if I fall from 10 stories, I'm dead. I am the real life Spider-Man. This is the Spider-Man PS4 Advanced Suit in the game that's actually armored. This, it's not armored. That would be a touch bit trickier to do. My friend helped design for me this custom-made costume, and then I added a couple features to help with parkour functionality. I'm Ronnie Chalvis. I'm a stunt performer, parkour artist, and your friendly neighborhood Spider-Man. Video games are one of my biggest inspiration for parkour. As soon as I saw the PS4 Spider-Man, I knew I wanted to try and recreate it. So one of the most challenging stunts I did was actually this really big descent from a handrail down to a second level to a front flip down to another level. Another really fun stunt to do was trying to set up a web swing in a safe way. What we figured out is we could rope off to the top of this parking garage and if we shoot at a low angle I could just jump off the first story and swing around and I have so much momentum that I end up getting about 10 or 12 feet in the air uh, swinging around the corner. I've always been a huge Spider-Man fan. Ever since the first Tobey Maguire Spider-Man movie came out as a kid, I felt like it changed my life. It just constantly inspired how the things I wanted to do, just being able to move the way like Spider-Man does. It was always my dream to just be able to dive off a building and just uh, shoot a web and swing away. So I started parkour when I was 15 years old. It was after watching the original Spider-Man movie, I started learning flips. Moving like a superhero, being like Spider-Man, that was always kind of the back burner of my inspiration. The game that I think captured my passion and imagination the most was the the PlayStation 2 Spider-Man 2 game. When I first heard about a new Spider-Man game coming to PS4, I was totally excited, totally stoked. First time I played the game, right off the bat, it starts you jumping out a window. Swinging into the action. And that moment, the feeling of it was like, yeah, this game's gonna be awesome love a lot of the practical stunts like anytime he's evading or dodging uh, villains shooting at him or punching him the way he flips over them or swings through their legs I love those types of stunts because I know it's something I can take inspiration from for my own movements so my YouTube channel is called Ronnie Street Stunts it's all about just taking stunts to the street so I've actually had the idea for a long time to recreate the stunts from movies and video games. I never really pursued that idea until the Spider-Man PS4 game came out. They took a lot of inspiration from parkour in that game, so I knew it would be a perfect fit. Seeing Spider-Man as a hero existing in different media really inspired me to want to be that in real life. I knew I wouldn't get the web shooters, I knew I wouldn't get the super strength or the super powers, but I knew that there would be ways to at least emulate some of the things he does and that's, that's what really appealed about parkour to me is it gave me a way to feel like I was Spider-Man. So some of the other games I've recreated in real life, Watch Dogs 2, I've done Mario Brothers, Super Smash Brothers, that was a fun one. I got a bunch of my friends and I to all dress up in the different Smash Brothers characters to do stunts. There's obviously a level of risk, a level of danger involved. Unlike the video game Spider-Man, I can't shoot webs, so if I fall from 10 stories, I'm dead. I spend a lot of time training and preparing in a gym with pads 
on ground level so I can get extremely confident in my abilities before I actually go and take them outside. It's just so much fun going into the city, especially after I got this costume and, and just seeing people's reactions as I'm doing stunts and performing. It's almost like I'm carrying the mantle of, of being Spider-Man. Great power comes great responsibility. I'm super excited for the new Spider-Man game on PS5 featuring Miles Morales. He's such a fun character. I'm just excited to see what tricks and moves they've included in the game for me to take inspiration from and try and recreate in real life. Here we have him doing different moves, you know, that I can definitely do. A move I really want to try is uh, this moment where he does this uh, kip up off the ground and springs him up with his legs. That would be something really cool. Gaming has been an important part of my life. It's been a way for me to make friends, a way for me to find inspiration for my real life, and also just a way for me to experience other types of characters in different world settings. I love everything life has to offer. Looking back and just thinking about the influence this game has had on my life, it really has had an impact on, on everything I do.